Welcome back in today's Health Watch. New research suggests that your outlook on life may impact your cognitive health. The study finds that positive personality traits may help lower your risk of dementia, while negative traits may increase your risk. Joining us now live, Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike to talk about this. Dr. Mike, good morning. We talk about spreading some holiday cheer. It sounds like that's good for our health. Yeah. You, you better believe it, Pam. Uh, they, they looked at, this was a meta-analysis. They took eight studies and, and combined all the data, looking at over 44,000 people. And they found the following, that if you have a, a positive outlook, you, were, uh, you had an openness in terms of your personality, you were excited about new and different things, uh, kind of an extrovert, uh, you had a lower risk of developing dementia down the road as opposed to those who had a negative outlook on life and what what they call neuroticism. That's where they uh, uh, tend to be very insecure uh, and and just uh, 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 overly emotional and not not um, not a real per, a personable kind of person, and, and they didn't do as well. What's the connection? Is this dopamine? I mean, what is the connection between the two? Well, that's the million-dollar question. Some researchers think it might have to do with the fact that people with a positive outlook exercise more, they smoke less, they drink less, they have lower levels of stress, uh, and, and so that, that may be the case. It also might be that people like that navigate some loss of memory better than those with a negative approach. And uh, I, I have to tell you, uh, uh, in my experience, I've been practicing 30 years now, Pam, the people, even if they're under tremendous amounts of stress, some people are just able to chew it up and spit it out as opposed to taking it on the chin. Uh, and, and, and there's even a, a, a personality type, type D. You know, we've heard about type A and B. D means to stress. That's the person that you don't want to run into on the highway because if you get anywhere near them, they're going to give you a dirty look or worse. Yeah, that is, that is a very big problem. To bring in uh, another holiday reference, Scrooge, is it too late to change the attitude? If you, you know, if you have a negative attitude, can you at some point say, okay, will that, will that affect the, uh, the impact and long-term outlook? Well, I, certainly it's never too late. And, and you know, there, there's this concept of toxic personalities. Nobody wants to be around someone who's toxic. Everyone wants to be with people that are gregarious and able to interact and, and have a positive attitude. And so if you are one of those people that uh, are, are a little bit on the curmudgeon side of things, you might want to either... Uh, talk to someone about it or uh, get some self-help books. Uh, but you want to try to get more positive because it can affect your health, your physical health, as well as your interactions with the rest of us. Absolutely.